This is this is Sydney's Taronga Zoo. It's Thursday, there's almost no one here. It's just me and Annabelle, you'll see her in a bit. She's standing behind the camera. But we're here on a bit of a mission. We're looking for a couple of animals to add to our uh, animal mix. So we're looking for something endangered. We've got a few ideas of what we want to add, but we're gonna get you to help us decide. Come and have a look. Some of the most beautiful animals you'll see anywhere in the world. And there's no one here. The koala's already in the mix. <laughs> we already do a koala. This is a koala. They sleep, can you believe it, for 22 hours a day. The laziest animal, even the sloth, I think, sleeps for you know, 21. You it's because eucalyptus leaves have so little energy in them and that's all they eat. And it's actually where they get their moisture from too. They don't drink water as such. They get all their moisture and all their nutrition from the terribly, terribly unnutritious gum leaves. But Rose would say, oh, that's me on a Tuesday. <laughs> See the koala in the <laughs> That's me on a Tuesday. Dad, this one kind of looks like you. <laughs> I don't know if he looks like me, but he's acting like <laughs> He's acting like Dad, when you used to take me here as a kid, the Komodo dragon lived here. Where has he gone? I don't know. Instead, there's a sign of dingoes. I don't know if they fed the dingoes to the Komodo dragon, but he would have loved that. Great stuff again. What's the best way to cook a crocodile? <laughs> what is the best way to cook a crocodile? In a crock pot. In a crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like he can't swim, which is ridiculous. Looks like he's quite bad at swimming. <laughs> Isn't he the um, most dangerous snake in Australia? No, no, that's the inland taipan. I don't know oh, much okay. about the coastal taipan. The fierce snake. Uh, there's one here, I think we'll see him soon. This is the uh, coastal taipan. Basilisk. I didn't know they were real, but he's cool. He looks so cool. They're so great. I kind of wish I could have some, like a whole little troop in my backyard. There he goes! Do you think the planes freak them out a bit? Yep. Hey buddy! Okay. Why can't we see the lions? I don't know, the exhibit's closed, but not long ago the, the lions actually escaped from their exhibit here. They didn't get out of the zoo, but apparently they escaped from the exhibit, so I think it's probably something to do with that. I, I wish know. they were out now. I wish they were out now too. No, like out of the exhibit, how cool would it be? Running around with lions. Yeah. Maybe not quite as cool as you imagine. Go. Why do giraffes have such long necks? <laughs> I don't know, Emma. why do giraffes have such long necks? Because <laughs> their feet smell. Their feet, oh. Oh, look at them. They're beautiful. I think these are babies too. Look at them. I have this very, very strong reaction when I see chimps. They are our closest living relative and they're just stunning. I, I think we do need to do a chimp. Yeah, I really do. Just like. He's having a spa day. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Maybe he thinks we're going to feed him. Off he goes. And this is why we're here. Why are we here, Annabelle? Because I love Tasmanian devils. Tasmanian devils are a highly endangered species. Actually, they're just endangered. But uh, they're endangered because what they do and what they love to do is bite each other on the face, whether that's playing or very aggressively as a form of fighting. But they have a form of face cancer that is highly contagious and it's killing them off. So they're an endangered species. They no longer live on Australia's mainland and can only be found in Tasmania and I really think they'd make the cutest little lobby. Yeah, yeah, about 80% of the population wiped out by this contagious facial cancer. Tasmanian devils, how awesome it's are they? So cool. So awesome. And we just saw him and he came up and said hello and it's like, it's a whole... It's uh, <laughs> he definitely doesn't have face cancer. Look at his cutie little face. Hi, this is pretty terrible. What do orb spiders use when they live stream? A webcam. <laughs> He's, this is this is the reason people say they're always scared to come to Australia, the, the Huntsmans, but the reality is he's probably the least dangerous spider in this room, isn't he? These guys. Uh, for some reason, I always call him Kevin. Really? Kevin you hangs out Kevin? in your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin just looks after you, man. Looks after Do you remember when I when I bashed out my front teeth here? Yeah, and I was the one who got in trouble. You dived face first into the ground. And that is I'm not I'm the one true. who got the blame. I walked into a pole with Rach my eyes nearly, closed. Rach nearly killed me. Is that the sound an emu makes? Yeah, it's something like that, I think. <laughs> the Australian uh, Defence Forces did fight a war against the emus. It's been something like 10,000 shells. Lost the war. He's coming over to 
He's making sure you're telling it right, Dad. They simply, they just didn't want to lose. If, they, if, if something doesn't want to lose that much, they're hard to beat. He's he's got a pretty mean, uh, pretty mean beak on him. Come and say hello, Mr. Emu. <laughs> what do you call a lazy baby wallaby? What, Dad? A pouch potato. Because <laughs> they're, they're marsupials and, <laughs> and they live in a pouch. And a couch potato. All right, take yes. a photo? Yes. Oh, it's a video. Sorry. <laughs> He's mum's favorite animal, you know. Hey guys. Awesome little creature. Even if he thinks, ah. Oh. Dad, what do stylish kangaroos wear? I'm gonna say woolly jumpers, but I don't that's think that sounds right. Sheep. That's if you cross the sheep in a kangaroo. What? Jumpsuits. Jumpsuits. Hey Dad, did you know that even though it's called the Arabian camel, there's more camels in Australia than in Saudi Arabia? I did know that. Australia has the largest feral camel population in the world, I think. I mean, how do you make cheese toasties in the jungle? How? You stick them under the gorilla. So <laughs> and they're getting better and better. <laughs> Creature. It's amazing that they want a wooden spoon. <laughs> wow. How good do you reckon he is at footy? <laughs> you can't keep making tigers jokes. I can keep making tigers jokes. Another. Wow. I do love them. There you go, Taronga Zoo. They had more than just a dog. It's not a Shih Tzu. Come and see it, it's awesome. 